Only on 10 right now, an update on the troubled Miami Seaquarium. The facility says they are taking the steps needed to improve the Seaquarium after multiple inspections found its enclosures to be unsustainable and unsafe for the marine animals there. And we wanted to take a look for ourselves. And local 10's Christina Vasquez joining us live now from Virginia Key to explain what she saw on her exclusive tour. Christina. And all of this is happening as that clock is ticking in the lease termination process. So we checked into Miami-Dade County this morning and they confirm that they're asking its tenant, which is the Miami Seaquarium operator of the Dolphin Company, to vacate by April 21st. That's when they have to do that voluntarily. And they say if, they, if they're not out of here by April 21st, they're going to start an eviction process. So we went to the Miami Seaquarium. They did allow our cameras in because they wanted you to see this. They say, look, they took over this lease about two years ago, just over two years ago, that at that time they were inheriting a, quote, old park. It was already an aging facility. There was a lot of repairs that need to be made. And they want to show you what they've been trying to show the county, they say, that they are efforting those uh, repairs right now capital improvement projects on almost every corner of this facility that take time take the penguin enclosure they are building a new one it's just not up and operated just yet uh, so first you are going to hear from jimmy morales he's the chief operations officer from miami-dade county and then you're going to hear from edwin gonzalez of the dolphin company the notice we'd given them was they had until april 21st to do it voluntarily uh, obviously, we're not there yet, uh, but if on that date they are still occupying the premises, then we will commence what's called an eviction process, provide a written notice of eviction, uh, and that's the process that you do through a judicial you know, uh, proceeding, and um, you know, I, I guess we'll see whether or not they challenge that or not. You know, we are doing everything possible to meet with the county, and, and we, you know, our attorney wanted to meet with them, met with them. We're going to invite them again to meet with us and do everything possible and invite them and the guests to come over and, and see us. But you're fine to stay. We, we are going to stay. We are going to stay. And he said that several times. In fact, they have an Earth Day event planned for April 22nd. That's one day after, per the county, they're supposed to voluntarily vacate the premises. We just wrapped up that tour a short time ago, so we'll bring you some highlights coming up at Local 10 News at 6. For now, reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.